Within 25 years, our goal is to give 80% of Americans access to high-speed rail. This could allow you to go places in half the time it takes to travel by car. For some trips, it'll be faster than flying. Without the pat down. We'll be made, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the president's uh, goal to get you on the choo choo. And part of not spending, it's not spending, don't think for a moment it is, it's investing. That's what he said. Going to get invested in the high speed rail. That's what he said. Just, you know what? Stop it. I hate it when you do that whole white man's over by the way. <laughs> the love train. The love train. I love that song. That who, who did the who did the love train song? Who the was OJ's. It? Oh, the, the OJ. Love the OJ. All right. Let me t- let me tell you what's let me tell you what's going on here. Uh, many of you are saying we need a train. And the president last night, you know what he said? He said. He went on, That's it rambled on last night, and he said... And on. And on. And on. He said, already, already, they are planning routes, and that is absolutely true. Um, the first one is Florida, isn't it? Is well, it Tampa, St. Pete? To, we're in a big race. No, we're in a big race. Over in the Bay Area, uh, they're, gonna, they're, they're hoping to get billions of dollars... For a high-speed line from Oakland to Los Angeles. He's right. There are plans. Listen, Oakland to Los Angeles. We what? Wanna, yeah. We want to do one. Listen to this. We want to do one from Los Angeles to Las Vegas and then down to Phoenix. That's another one we want to do. We want to do one from Phoenix to Tucson. We want to do that. Oh, and- wait a minute. Wait a minute. That Los Angeles to Vegas, I think Harry Reid during his um, uh, fight with Sharon Angle this last election, wasn't he guaranteeing that about eight and a half billion was coming their way to start the study? The study, study on the rail? The study. The study. Um, listen to this. Building the hey, – give me some facts here. Let me tell you what, what's really going on. Everybody needs to know this. Building the San Francisco to Los Angeles and Anaheim line, uh, this would be the spine of the first part of the system that will cost between $32.8 billion and $33.6 billion, as it stands right now. There will be cost overruns. Um, there is a high-speed rail authority of San Francisco and the Bay Area. It's already up and running. Extensions after this initial investment would be another $12 billion each. In addition to the $10 billion from state bond sales, the Bay Authority is counting on $12 billion and up to $16 billion in federal funds. Where are they going to get this? Where are they going to print up the money? Why are we going to do this? When, when we can just take, why do we want to do it? You can take a plane from Oakland to San Francisco. They're running about every 30 minutes. Why would they do this? Well, the key is what the president is really trying to do. This is going to be the mother load of all the big digs. Um, here's what's behind it all. Here's the blunt instrument that they will use to make this happen. Executive order. 13502, signed by President Obama within a day or two after he became President of the United States. Executive Order 13502. It basically states that any contractor who's bidding on any large-scale public construction project that gets even a dime of federal money, uh, and it's worth $25 million or more, which is a small project, by the way, uh, they must submit to union representation for employees whether the employees want it or not. They will go union. So this is a union rescue plan. I mean, this is what this is all about. Not all of, of the not all of the employees in America are uh, equal in President Obama's eyes. There are employees, and then there are union employees, and they're the ones carrying the the heavy load here. This is what this is all about. This whole uh, railroad thing that he wants to do to put people back to work. No, he wants to put union people well, back to work. This is very interesting because you're talking about the, the rescue or whatever of the economy is what he was talking about last night. Here's Here are ways we can do it. Didn't we just go through two years, two and a half years of rescues, bailouts, TARP money, um, investments in, guess what, infrastructure? Mm-hmm. You know, when you drive along the highway and you see those green signs that says this project is being paid for by, you know, Obama money, right. essentially. I thought that was the very thing we were doing with well, almost a billion dollars. So no, what than, happened that. to Listen, that billion dollars? The pl- this particular plan, this railroad plan, they've already got this laid out. This is not pie in the sky. By the way, he promised this in last year's State of the Union message. You know how it was received? There were crickets 
chirping over this. Uh, the plan would add $50 billion more to the $230 billion already allocated in the original stimulus plan for infrastructure. All right, Only a third of the infrastructure money has been spent, but now there's an urgency to pile on more because unemployment is hovering at 10%. So the president says he wants people, he got to get put people back to work through new upfront investments in surface transportation, surface it, trains. They, this is not for the convenience of you traveling. Of course and, not. By the way, if you love the TSA at the airport, wait till you get them at the train station. 